Hello friends, happy Sunday. As usual, I am very, very excited to see each of you and have you join us for yet another great Sunday where we get to learn and study from the Word of God. And I hope that you've been enjoying just getting to learn about the different stories. Last Sunday, we got to learn about the story of the prodigal son. And today we get to learn another story about the Good Samaritan and just how we need to be good neighbors to all those around us. So I hope that you are ready. I hope that you are prepared. Also, this coming um, week, uh, we are, we'll be having our e-connect. So for those who joined last month, we had such a great time just gathering together in our groups via Zoom. And if you're not part of a group, make sure that you um, just get to send us a message on the WhatsApp line, our ICC WhatsApp line, so that we can make sure that you are in an in a, an e-connect group, okay? So right now we want to begin with dancing for Jesus. So I want you to get ready. And as we do that, let's begin with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to see another great Sunday. We thank you that we can get to still worship you. We can get to still lift up your holy name. Father, even as we do that, we invite you to come and be the center of everything that we will get to do today. Open our ears and our hearts that we may receive from you. In Jesus' name we pray and we all say it, Amen. So my challenge for you today is I want you to stand up, grab either mommy, daddy or anyone around you, your sisters or your brothers, and I want us to all dance together. So today there's no sitting down, yeah? So I want you to stand up and let's all dance for this song together.
are you? Welcome to service today. We've really missed you. Now, as we start our lesson, let us pray. Mighty God, we thank you for today. And we pray that as we hear from you, we will obey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, please go get your notebook. Go get your Bible. Go get your pen. I'm giving you three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, let us begin. Do you remember what we did last time? Our lesson for last time was about the prodigal son. And we spoke about forgiveness. When we go back to God in repentance, he will forgive us. Today, I'm sure you're wondering what you're going to do today. In your notebook, please write this question. Who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? Please write that question down on your notebook. Let me start with a story. There was this boy who was going to school early in the morning, but he was running late. On his way from far, he could see this old woman carrying some groceries. And then she tripped and fell. Oh my goodness. All her things went to the ground. So now there was this man who was walking by carrying a Bible. She, he saw the woman and then he said, I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. God will help you. He went away. Another man came who looked like a policeman, also in a hurry. And then he said, ah, I'm running to help someone else who's had an accident. God will help you and went away. So when the boy arrived where the woman was, helped the old woman to stand up, pick the things, put them in the bag. And then some eggs were broken and the boy had some pocket money. So he went and bought some three eggs and gave them to the old woman and told her bye. And then he went. Hmm, you're wondering, what is this story about? Our lesson today is about the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. Write that in your notebooks. So now, this time, there was Jesus and some experts of the law called religious leaders, people who knew a lot about the law of Moses, came to him and asked, to test him. Lord, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus asked them, what is written? What is it that's written in the law? They replied, hmm, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and mind. Jesus was like, right, exactly. Now go and do that. Because this religious expert wanted to trap Jesus, asked him, Lord, who is my neighbor? So Jesus replied by giving a story. Now, this is the story. There was a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. And on that road, there were hills and mountains and thieves usually used to hide and take opportunity and jump on people and attack them and rob them and beat them up. So this man, when he was traveling, oh, poor guy, he was attacked. And then those robbers took everything of his and left him for dead. You can imagine being attacked by people. Oh my goodness, the pain and the hurt. So now he was there mourning, oh, I've been hurt. And then who comes along? A priest. A priest comes along. Priests used to be like pastors back in the day. They used to do Sunday services. They used to do temple services. Walked by the man, saw him, and decided to pass on the other side of the road without helping. And then someone else came, a Levite. Levites were people who used to assist the priests. He came back so the hard man looked at him did not help took another road and left him there so the hard man probably was feeling like oh my goodness who is going to help me now someone else came along a samaritan a samaritan you're wondering why is he called a samaritan 
because he was from a place called Samaria. The same way I live in Kenya, so I am a Kenyan. So this Samaritan saw this man who was hurt, went and looked at him and he felt pity on him. So he decided to help him. While he was helping him, he took some bandage. You see, like in this first aid box, the way we help one another. So he took the bandage, he took ointment and took care of the hurt man, put him on his donkey and took him to an inn. An inn was like a place where people could go and rest and sleep for the night. And then the next morning, the good Samaritan paid money for the care of the hurt person. Now, Jesus asked the religious leader, from this story, who do you think the good neighbor was? The lawyer, the religious expert answered, he must be the one who had pity on the hurt man and helped him. So Jesus said, go and do likewise. Hmm. Now from this story, what do we learn? Hmm? We learn that we should help everyone regardless of who they are whether they are our friends or our enemies we should care concerning the people who are around us and value them and value them so who is my neighbor you remember i asked you to write that question who is my neighbor your neighbor is anyone who is in need how can you apply this in your daily life at home, when your mom or dad, your auntie or your nanny needs help, please go ahead and help them in the house. At school, when you see someone being bullied, go and assist. Also, in school, when you see someone does not have food, you share. They don't have a pen, you share, you assist. So, you'll be a good neighbor to them. Now, if we look at that, there's an example of someone who did something good for everyone regardless of who they were and that person is jesus christ jesus christ came he died on the cross he resurrected and if you believe in jesus christ you will have eternal life how many of you want to receive eternal life if you'd like to receive eternal life please Pray this prayer together with me. Almighty God, I come before you. I confess my sins and I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to come into my life to lead me, to guide me so that I may have eternal life. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. Thank you so much. If you have prayed that prayer, Tell your mommy, your daddy, and everyone who is around the house. So now we are going to have our memory verse by Teacher Ricky. Let us welcome Teacher Ricky. Thank you, Teacher Sandra. Whom do you love the most? Jesus tells us who to love the most. And Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 to 39 says jesus replied love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind this is the first and greatest commandment and the second is just like it love your neighbor as much as you love yourself matthew chapter 22 verse 37 to 39 love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind this is the first and greatest commandment and the second one is just like it love your neighbor as much as you love yourself matthew chapter 22 verse 37 to 39 thank you thank you teacher ricky we have we have learned that we should love god and love our neighbors Keep practicing the memory verse. Now it's time to give. Look at the details on our screen. 
and then tell your mom, your dad, or any other older person in the house to help you give the offering for today. And as you're giving your offering, please remember that the com this coming Saturday we are going to have e-connect. Do you remember we had classes on Zoom with our friends, with our teachers? Please, please, please gear up for that this coming Saturday. And the Lord will bless you. As we end our lesson, let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this wonderful lesson we had. And we pray that we continue to love you and to love everyone around us who is in need, whether friend or enemy. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe. Amen. So let us say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. See you. Bye.